Okay, I want to quickly go over uh, some things about putting the tension clips on with the tension tools and getting the right orientation with the clips that we have here. So if we zoom up here, I've actually got two faceted clips, one with the top side facing up and the bottom side also facing up because there is a top and a bottom. If we look back here, fabric has a top and a bottom. Sometimes this is very hard to tell with the fabric that you're using, but this is the top coat right here and that's the bottom coat. Now we want the faceted clip to be going over the fabric with the smooth side here onto the finished side of the fabric. One other thing with the clip is you look at the end view of it, you can see the throat of the clip. And what we're gonna do with the special pair of pliers is to show how it crimps down here onto that fabric. Now over here to the side, I've got one of our faceted frames and it's not gonna matter which frame it is, but there's teeth on the inside of the frame to ratchet that clip backwards uh, into it. Now if I take this clip right here, it would nat be natural to think that it just goes straight in and out. And this does nothing. What we need to do is actually pivot it, roll it backwards, and then let it go in. And now it's pivoting in there. So when the clip down at the other end is working in tandem with it, it locks and binds. The clip clamps down onto the fabric, not where it was compressed here within the frame. It is actually clamped down into place. You do these every two inches, a two inch space, a two inch clip, and you have that in perfect tension. Now to release them, if you've got to later on for a damaged uh, graphic or something, you go in with a flathead screwdriver, release the tension, and you can remove those. And that's what makes this the uh, best system uh, out there to do this. Now we do have two different tools to actually use to uh, do this. I'm gonna do an example, three clips of the black tool and three clips with the blue tool right here. This is gonna be about a $15 tool and yet this one's gonna be about uh, $435. Yes, that's a, a quite a jump up there, but you can see a lot more is going on into this. Bottom line, at the end of the day, if you're doing thousands of clips, this is gonna be far less fatigue on your hand uh, than the black set that's over here. But both of them work absolutely great. Uh, so right now, let me kind of go over here and I wanna use the black pair of pliers here, and I kind of want to show you where they actually engage on the clip when I go put them on. Now I'm holding it at the end of the clip. I obviously don't need to do this here. I have to do it in the center. But this is the place where those little teeth go in here. They do not go in here, they don't go here. They will go all the way up to this point right here. Now again, I need to center this when I go put it on the edge of the fabric. There I've got it centered. And right now, I'm gonna go and it's very important that you slide this all the way in so that the uh, fabric has gone to the furthest point of the throat of the uh, teeth. And watch this, I'm going to crimp down. Notice there's a little stop right here too, so that kind of helps me stop in the right area, but I could feel that click. So it's really that simple. I can go on with the next one, do that two inch space. Um, you can kind of even hear that little click. I can get really quick in uh, with these out there. Now, I'm actually gonna, while I'm at this right here with the black clip, let's say that we wanna remove them. I'm gonna do it at the end down here so you can see where the bottom one goes in this top one. And this will press in here. Now this tool is not as good. I'm gonna go down here to center, release it a little bit more in the other one. And now I can actually pull the clip off. So let me do this one right in the center. There, you can see they come and remove right off and they're still intact now there's no guarantee these clips will stay intact there's never a guarantee the second time but if you do it right you're going to get i don't know three to six times possibly out of use with that now the 435 dollars facet pliers three is a much more sophisticated tool um, even in the holding of the clips all i have to do is push this in here and i can actually just hold the pair of pliers like this, it actually holds it into place. So this, and when I go crimp down, I don't have to be worried that I'm in one of those teeth on there. So let's watch how this one goes on. So I actually take it, just slide it on, and there's a spring action in here. It's, it's buried inside the thing, and it makes this much easier on the hand. So again, just push those clips in, slide it over, compress it on, grab another clip, 
Remember, flat side always up with these, push it on, and voila, I got them on. Now let me even show you how easy it would be with these to get them off. This one just presses up against the stop right here, and the bottom one just fits in there. You do this, and they're right off. Again, like that, off, and again, off. I seem to have much more success of reuse with Eclipse with the $435 Fasten Pliers 3 than I would with the black ones. I can actually end up opening them too much with the black ones sometimes and not being able to reuse the clips. Regardless, the clips are not the expensive part of this and you can always purchase many more clips. But that's just a little uh, video so that we could show you the proper up and down with the clips as they uh, crimp onto the upside and downside of the fabric, how you roll back the clip so that it can go into the frame and then it gets tension. And then the two tools that you've got a choice of, the facet pliers or the facet pliers three over here, both work, both will get the job done for you. This one just may be a lot less fatigue at the end of the day if you're doing thousands of clips. Always call with any questions. Thank you.